Hey, my name is Phil and I'm coming at you from Bosslytics and I want to share with you my site migration workflow. I've used this workflow to help a number of sites through the site migration process and I wouldn't worry about screenshotting this particular screen because these talking points are going to be available in the description and I'm going to break each one of these down to the best I can and try to make them very broad and applicable to a lot of different CMSs, which is kind of a struggle, but if that sounds like a plan, let's get started. All right, kicking it off. I always recommend we define some objectives and on a very surface level, we can use this workflow anytime we're moving a site from one hosting environment to another hosting environment. And common reasons would include a CMS change, a WordPress to Webflow migration, for example, as I did this past year, or a hosting provider change, right? Those are typically most common, um, but there's always interesting use cases as well. So kicking it off, I always recommend we work on a staging site, right? As a best practice. So that's my short disclaimer. All right, before we do any heavy lifting, I want you to go inside your domain name provider. So, you know, it might be GoDaddy, it might be Namecheap. Go inside that domain name provider and access the DNS settings and take screenshots of all the DNS settings copy paste all the DNS settings in there as well. And just so you have a full record of what's going on and save it to your cloud or to your hard drive. Awesome. Now we're gonna institute a content freeze across your sites and that's letting everyone know who has access to the site CMS that they should not be updating a site past a specific date that you're gonna share with in the, meet, in the email. And you wanna get kind of buy-in from everyone on this one because you don't want anyone to lose hard work and content. After your content freeze date, you're going to take a site snapshot, which we'll go into later. But basically anything past the site snapshot is not going to make it to the new site, right? Okay, so next you're going to migrate content and migrating content from one site to another is easier if you're going WordPress to WordPress because sometimes hosting plans or hosting companies will have a tool to let you migrate, which, hey, that's pretty cool. But there's also plugins like Updraft, all-in-one migration, all that stuff that allows you to get your WordPress site in a zip file and then upload to the new one. I mean, that's the easiest way. Once you do that, I always recommend update WordPress and all plugins and stuff. Now we talk about this site snapshot. If no plugin is available, like WordPress to WordPress migrations, you're going to have to go through and make copies of the content and decide what should make the jump. And you're going to, unfortunately, this for my business looks like a content to Google Docs copy paste scenario. And then we copy paste that into the new CMS. So yeah, there's no, there's no way around that. So th this is going to take a majority of your time. But once you move that content, right, once you moved what you want to bring over, I want you to test your contact forms and also any way that the business uses to get leads because we want to make sure that the channel of leads is still operational. So however the business connects with their ideal customer, make sure all of those connections and integrations are working on the new site. Awesome. And speaking of details, a fine detail is to install the SSL on the new hosting environment. Great. Okay, I always recommend that you review the site one final time before deleting the old site because if something's wrong, you can grab assets from the old site before deleting, not after deleting. Quick side note, you can always move your old site to a staging domain. Like I moved my .com to a .net that I had lying around and I found myself referencing the old site for the following weeks after the migration. So you can try that as well. But basically review your old site in case you're worried about it deleting before you make this shift and you're going to make those changes inside DNS to go live. Ooh, a little scary. Don't forget about email. Test your email afterwards. I always recommend you test all the functionalities, like I said, for the business. However the business interfaces with the customer, you need to check all those integrations and troubleshoot if it hasn't made the jump. Then you're going to check Google Search Console, Ahrefs, and Screaming Frog for 404s. I'm an SEO guy. I like 
recommending Google Search Console and Screaming Frog to check for 404s because it's free. It costs you zero dollars to get started with those tools. Ahrefs is an awesome tool and that is a paid tool, but that will tell you all your 404s and you can decide if those 404s are worth redirecting or you just let them kind of disappear into the Aether, right? Great. So with that in mind, that is the site migration workflow in a nutshell. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comment section. And I love talking about this stuff. This project is really a kind of a labor of love because I've made many mistakes in this arena. So if I save you some heartache in your quest, I hope this is helpful. But as always, please like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I shall talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.